Are revolvers obsolete? Well, this question tends to start a firestorm among many members of the gun community. The more tactically inclined folks whose perception of the gun has been shaped by modern military experience, carbine courses, or three-gun competitions would almost certainly say yes, absolutely. A great many other people have found through trials and tribulations that revolvers work best for them, generally citing the way they are contoured, reliability, or familiarity. To this I say carry on, only you know what works best for you. So back to that big question. In general, are revolvers obsolete? Short answer, yes. But damn if I don't love them and occasionally carry them. From a military perspective, revolvers have been largely obsolete for over 100 years. When the Swiss adopted the Luger in 1900, it kicked off the trend of nations ditching revolvers in favor of self-loading designs. The Germans followed suit in 1908, the Americans in the year of our Lord 1911, and so on and so forth. While revolvers did see quite a lot of service in World War II, that was mostly due to holdovers from previous conflicts as was the case with the American M1917 revolver. In the war, revolvers filled a few niche roles. For example, inside of a cramped vehicle, you wouldn't want an autoloader spitting hot brass all over or failing to cycle due to spatial hindrance or clutter. Now that's well and good, but let's move forward to today. Companies are still making fine revolvers that are sold almost exclusively to the civilian market. You saw American law enforcement largely shift away from them in the 80s with the Wonder 9 revolution, and companies like Colt and Smith & Wesson now had to adapt. Colt never seemed to get the hang of autoloading handguns, with the flops that were the All-American 2000 and Z40, but Smith is doing just fine and still produces fine double-action wheel guns. Colt unfortunately decided to kill guns like the iconic Python while keeping the single-action army in production. Other manufacturers today include Manuren, Court, and Jans, but these high-end custom manufacturers seem to cater less to people with duty use in mind and more to the high-end consumer market. From a civilian carry perspective, I believe that the humble revolver still has a lot of merit. Say what you will about automatics, but they are harder to use than a revolver. This is something I used to scoff at until I took some uninitiated persons to the range who physically had trouble racking the slide of an automatic. That's something very easy for gun guys like us to overlook and it's almost become second nature, but seeing a 100 pound female struggle to chamber around in a Glock 19 makes you realize that there really isn't a one size fits all option for concealed carry. Yes, I know we all think we need a semi-automatic with extra magazines for that romanticized gunfight that's played out in our heads, but the fact of the matter is that in the vast, vast majority of cases, the number of shots fired in an altercation will be two. A survey of 482 civilian incidents involving firearms used in self-defense produced this statistic, and when more than two shots were fired, it was generally because the defender's response was to fire until empty. I would never turn down additional capacity, but with a revolver you trade capacity for a very simple manual of arms. So in short, there are still applications where a revolver shines. As a carry piece, target, or competition gun, they still have great relevance. However, I believe that as a duty gun, they are very outmatched by modern semi-automatic pistols. If anything, I like revolvers because I enjoy shooting them. They are accurate, and the nostalgia that comes with them caters to my heritage as a Texan. However, if I were headed to the OK Corral in the 21st century, you bet I would leave the old cult at home. Thank you for watching this episode of TFB TV. What do you think about revolvers? Put your opinion in the comments below, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Big thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with our shooting videos, and we hope to see you all next time.